Hey everybody, Courtney Smith here. I want to talk about Amazon and why I think it's going to go lower. So let's take a look at this. And of course, I don't, I'm not shorting it right now, but because betting against Amazon has been a complete mugs game for years. But there's a lot of things that make it tell me that it's overvalued. So if you're long Amazon, you need to be thinking about taking profits. And we may even want to go short at some point because the fundamental underpinnings of Amazon are starting to weaken. So first of all, obviously the uh, COVID crisis at first right here, the price took a dip, but has just exploded to the upside as everybody's ordering everything from Amazon. You can order your food from Amazon. You can order your entertainment, your video, you can all your home equipment, everything you want to buy, you can buy at Amazon, just like the old Sears Roebuck. But now the new Sears Roebuck is Amazon. So COVID has really helped it out a lot. But just because it's been helped out by COVID doesn't mean it can't get to be overvalued. Let's break this down a little bit. So when I look over here, I see this year's earnings on the upper left-hand side up 32%. That's very good. And next year, accelerating to 43. That's unusual to see a company accelerate their earnings. What's the problem then? Well, oh, another good thing, EPS rating, 93. It's growing earnings faster than 93% of all other listed companies. Those are three excellent statistics. But let's take a look at some underlying problems. Notice here that in 2020, we've got the little red diamond pointing down. That means that the analysts are actually reducing their estimates of how much money they're going to make this year. Next year, they're increasing them. So once again, next year, this is the major bullish feature on this chart. But here's the real big problem. The PE is 126. And that's 5.7 times higher than the average stock. It should be higher. No question, it's a better company. But I'm just making the case here that it's gone too far too fast and it's time to either go into a trading range or even go down a while, okay? The stock needs to have the price come down. The earnings need to come up to build value in the stock so people can buy it and it'll engage in another big bull market. But I don't think that's right now. I'm not going to sell it. But taking profits, probably a pretty darn good idea. Let's take a look at it from a, uh, from a fundamental perspective. Uh, hang on one second. I'll get there. I'll get there. All right. Let's go up here and we'll come over here. So just from a short-term technical perspective, let's take a look at this. So this is a chart with a bunch of my indicators that I like to use. Now, one of the indicators I like to use is the purple predictor, better known as on balance volume. And we saw here that the, the price came up here. We had a little bit of a consolidation. Then we met, went up to a new high. And of course, we came down hard a few, uh, late, late last week. Notice that the purple predictor was above the price action. That's very bullish. Notice it's now on the price action. So we've gone from a bullish purple predictor, which told us that the smart money was bullish, to now they're neutral. They don't really care about this stock. And so as a result, that went, the going from bullish to neutral is a negative in the market. Let's scroll down to the bottom here. So this is the ADX, and the ADX is a measure of the trend. A rising ADX means that there is a strong trend. A declining means that we're into a neutral market. Well, as you can see, we've gotten a little bit up going into that high that we made a week ago, but now we're into a neutral market. So I'm not ready to say this is a bear market, but a neutral market you don't want to own stocks that are in neutral markets because that means you're not making money. You only want to be own stocks in bull markets and you want to be short selling stocks in bear markets, period. So that's what we need to be looking at. All right. All right. So let's leave it there. Time to get out. Not time to sell short. Not time to buy. Talk to you later.